Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com and we're going to be talking about these guys which I whipped up. So I thought this was an interesting little project and wanted to share it with you guys. I'll be running some time-lapse prints probably up over there. Time-lapse prints, not nah, video of the prints. Anyways, it's early in the morning but here we are at the bench and what I have here is I've whipped up these sort of multi-purpose uh, pegboard holders for my cheap micrometers and so um, as you can see here I've got uh, versions from a couple different companies they all seem to be relatively same and because this one I think is from Centec and I think this one is from Pittsburgh and uh, yep and you can see they're basically the same what I did is I took these uh, traced them out scan the image and then created the digital book of this. Now, I'll all have all this out on Thingiverse, and I'll talk about that in a little bit more in a minute, including the digital book of these. So if you guys want to design your own older, go for it. So here, here it is. But anyways, these are generally the same. And so what I want to do, though, is I wanted to hang them on my pegboard, because usually I've been hanging them on a little thing and holding them like that, and it kind of works, but it's a little bit hokey. I wanted something cool. I'm a DIY 3D maker. I've got tons of 3D printers. I've got technology, and here is the result of this. So what I did is kind of whip this up, and I wanted to think about this in a couple different aspects, and this is what I want to share with you. So I originally started with just a holder and I thought okay so I use digital buck just difference it out and boom I can place the uh, micrometer in there hang it on the wall and that's good but I noticed all this extra space I had and there's really nothing to do with it now I thought about just expanding the buck and differencing out the actual center but then the shape looked kind of wanky so I thought what else could I do with it and that's when it hit me why don't I make this multi-purpose so one of the things I, I did in this section is I difference that a hole so I can stick a pen or pencil in it so it now holds a pen or pencil. Then I thought too I've got a little bit of room on the side here why don't I take neodymium magnets because I've got all these little metal scales I love these little metal scales and guess what it holds it there. Then the other piece is I thought what if I difference the corner out down here and I take um, you know I got tons of those little cables I'm just going to use this for an example but what I can do is put the, run the little cable through here so I can run, for example, um, test probes or alligator clips or hang alligator clips, something like that, off here. So that really worked out cool. So this really turned out to be a multi-purpose. And then I can stick something through here. Now it goes all the way through. I just did the back part to save plastic. Uh, but you could put something through here. Actually, probably what would be better put, and I was thinking about, is something like that. Uh, it's got a bigger bottom that could stick in there. But these are a little bit for artistic purposes now what I did is these also use I'll have to pop them out here but use these pins that pop through there I've shown these in other videos where I've done the pegboard stuff and they actually pop in and hold it to the pegboard I'll have two sizes of these in the Thingiverse file so a long one like this one in a shorter version so depending upon the pegboard you have um, you can pick either or and and uh, use it. So anyways, I wanted to share this design. It is pretty simple and again, if you look back on the Inkscape uh, tutorials in the playlist, because one of the things you guys may or may not know, all my videos have playlists. So this is why at the front of them I have a little tag and then a dash and then you know kind of a descriptor because I use that front tag to create the playlist to automatically add them to the playlist. So if you're ever curious about something or want to find out more about something I'm doing, Simply look at that first part, go to the playlist, and there'll be tons of information because then I kind of, you know, uh, categorize them like that. And so if you go and you look at the Inkscape uh, playlist, I show you how to actually do the scanning of something like this, to trace it, uh, to use a contour gauge, say like this one, uh, to figure out the contour, because that's something else I could probably do. I didn't think about that. Um, I could probably also used a contour gauge to map this and then do the tracing but it was just easier to do the tracing so I could something like that and traced it but anyways just kind of wanted to share this with you guys it will be out on Thingiverse 
free for you guys. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you do print one, hey, I just ask, take a picture, post to make out there on, on Thingiverse. Also, be sure to follow me. I'm getting up, I think, uh, over 150 designs out there. So I've really been pumping out the designs. This is the this is the thing I really like more than printing. I love designing things to be printed, CNC'd, or laser cut. So really enjoy that. So anyways, here it is. It's going to be out on Thingiverse. Um, oh, the one thing I wanted to mention in the bag, it can get kind of tight around here. You might have to clean this out. I do notice that these two guys are a little bit different, um, you know, when it comes to this section down here. And I think it's just the way that they're assembled, actually. But it just kind of snaps in and holds it, and then you can kind of pull it out like, like this. So it is a little bit snug, so it doesn't fall off the board, but not so much that it should pull off the board. And here we go. We got twins. All right. Well, don't forget the swag shop up there in the corner. Don't forget the subscribe button down below, comment, and most importantly, give it that big thumbs up. Follow us on Thingiverse, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.